In this video, we will look at how to write a paper using your EndNote references. Assuming that you have them already added, which we have other tutorials about, we're going to look at the most common ways that you might use EndNote as you're writing your paper. So we're going to start with a new Word document, and let's say we're writing along this amazing information, and what we want to do is add a reference. You'll notice here that I have this EndNote toolbar, and this is here because I installed EndNote. If for some reason you lose it, you can get it back again by going to View, Toolbars, and then find EndNote. It's way down on the bottom of the list. All right, so I've written this, and I want to reference the person who said it. So I'm going to go over to EndNote, and let's say it's this one here, just for example's sake. All I've done is click on it, so EndNote knows which one is selected. Then I just go back to Word, and I'm going to click this nice little down arrow, and there is my reference. It looks like this reference isn't correct because it's got this April in here, but let's pretend it's right. And let's say I'm really writing this amazing paper here, and it's got all the correct information, reference list. All right, so there's my reference in there, and that is how to add just a very simple reference. Now, what I did that time is I just selected it from EndNote, but sometimes you may want to search. For example, you might be writing, writing along, and you know, I know there's something in here about implementation, and oh, yes, it's this one right here. And so you can use the search tool inside EndNote to find something, and that searches your um, abstract, any research notes that you have, labels that you've put on it, so it makes it really easy to find your reference when you want to quote it. All right, so that's how to search and add one. All right, let's add one more, just so I can show you how you're going to have to fix the spacing. So I'll we'll have another blah, 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 and we'll quote another person. I just choose it in EndNote, and I click my down arrow, and now I have another reference. Okay, now, see, look at this. There's only, there's two of them here, but there's supposed to be a space in between them. So what I need to do is go up here to this button that says Format Bibliography, and this window will come up this window should come up. Hang on. <laughs> I have to make it so you can see it. There we go. And you want to go to Layout, and down here is your line spacing. This is the line spacing within each entry, so leave that as single. We want to add another space afterwards, so I'm going to click OK, and now I have a space in between like it's supposed to have. All right, so that's the first two. The next thing we want to do is excluding an author. Sometimes you quote the author at the end of the sentence, and other times you're going to say so and so. Let me make this so you can see it. Said blah, blah, blah. Now, I want the so and so in here, and I want the date, but not the whole thing. So let me just show you how this works. I'll pick this one here. And let me see if I can find somebody who's just one author. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be quick and easy. Yeah, here we go. Baber. Here's the Baber one. Just one author. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to insert this. Now, the first time it comes in, obviously, it's going to have the information the way I don't want it. I want to write Baber, and then I want the year in here, but not Baber. So I'm going to right-click on this. Let me move it up so you can see it. I'm going to right-click on this. Let me move it up again so you can see it and I'm going to edit citation and I want to exclude the author in this case and I click OK and now I have my sentence set up properly and it's still referencing it and it went automatically down into my reference list that's how to exclude the author you can exclude the date as well alright now let's say one of these actually there's several different people who said this amazing sentence, and I want to reference a bunch of them. So let's um, add another one. What I'm doing first is I'm clicking inside this reference. I usually click at the end of it, but I think it will figure it out either way. And I'm going to go to EndNote and say I want to add this one. So just click on it, come back to Word, 
I'm in my reference. I'm going to hit the insert selection and look what it did. It put in Aiton in alphabetical order like it's supposed to be and there it is in my in my reference list. Let's just do one more so you can see that again. I click at the end and I go back to EndNote and say I want to pick this reference and I come back to Word and I click my down arrow and there's another one, Andrews 1997 and notice that also went into my reference list. So that is how to list several references. Alright, now what if you want to do page numbers? So let's say we're quoting somebody let's go with this Baber quote here. Baber said, instead of me just summarizing what he said, I want to actually do a quote. And so here's my quote, yada yada yada, and I need to put a page number at the end. So I'm going to go back and find my Baber reference, and I'm going to insert it just like I did the other times. Click on the down arrow, and it comes in the way I don't want it, but hang on. I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to show you this so you can see it. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click Edit Citation. And what I want to do is exclude the author and the year and this is on page 156. I'm making this up, I hope you realize. And I click OK and voila, there is my page number listed correctly. That's page numbers. Alright, now let's say, oh no, I decided I really don't want to list this person after all. Let's do it out of out of this group here. I've got three people listed for this reference. Maybe I changed my mind. I want to pick a different one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click and choose Edit Citation. And see how there's these three references in here? and I have this wonderful button over here that says remove. I'm going to remove the Collis reference so I click OK and when I come back to Word Collis is out of this set and it's out of my reference list at the end. That's deleting a reference. Alright, finally the other thing that will happen guaranteed will happen to you is that you will realize something is wrong with a reference Let's go with this April one, for example. And it needs to be fixed. Don't fix it here. Fix it in EndNote, because you might reference it somewhere else. That one was P. Let's see if I can find P. Let's use our search. And it's the one that has April in it. You can see right there. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to double click on it in EndNote. I'm going to go here to the year. Get rid of this save and exit and go back to Word and if you're lucky it will update it immediately. I have struggled with this though so sometimes if it doesn't do it then you can do um, you can right click on this and update field it will update this whole section or you can also come up here I've done this before go to format bibliography hang on let me move this up so you can see it uh, format bibliography and when you do this and then just click OK, it will rebuild this, especially if you have a whole lot of them. Um, so if you've done a lot of fixing of your references, you want to come back here and again format bibliography to update it. All right, those are the things that we covered. Pretty straightforward, makes life really easy for you, as long, especially if you've entered all of your references and are keeping them up to date in EndNote. Please comment if you have any suggestions or additional tips.